Let's take a look at how to create a user function uh, using Excel uh, that you can use in your formulas. So I'm going to go to the Developer tab. Uh, if you don't have that showing, there's another video that shows how to do that. And go into the editor here. And the first thing I want to do is cho choose Insert. Um, we're going to put our user function in a module. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is change the name of the module. So I use the properties box here and let's call it my functions. Okay, and now I'm going to write my code. So what I'm going to do is make a function that can um, Find the middle of three values. That might be useful. So the point here is, give, despite the fact that there are hundreds of built-in functions in Excel, once in a while you need one that's not there. And instead of having to write a complicated formula every time, which this one would be, uh, we can write it as a function that we can then use in our formulas. All right, so um, I'm going to call it, fun I'll put function, then I'm going to call it uh, middle. I'll make it all caps because that's how Excel functions usually are. And it's going to have three arguments. Um, let's just call them num1, num2, and num3. Okay. And now what I'm just going to do is uh, set up the cases. So first of all, if um, let's say num2 is going to be the middle one. Well, there's two ways that can happen. So first of all, if num1 is bigger than num2 and num2 is bigger than num3, and actually, I'm thinking maybe I better use greater than or equal, or weird stuff might happen in some unusual cases. So, okay. That's one way it could happen, right? The other way is if num3 is the biggest. So let's put or num3 greater or equal to num2 and want that. Okay. Uh, num2 greater or equal to num1. Oops, forgot my then. Then And I have an extra paren. Okay. Uh, here we want to assign, this is how we return the value. We say middle equals num2. All right. Else if, now let's say it, num1 is the middle one. Well, again, there's two ways it can happen. Rather than type all this again, I think. I'll copy it. And paste. And now let's fix it up. So the first way would be, all right, we want num1 to be in the middle. So if num2 is bigger, whoops, and num1, and num1, is bigger than num3, or else num3 is bigger than num1, and num1 is bigger than num2, then I want to say, oh, else if must be all one word, yes, then middle 
equals num1. Well, if neither of those is true, then the only other possibility is that middle equals num3. Okay, and let's have our end if. I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to call it my function example. Save it on the desktop as a macro enabled workbook. Okay. So it's written. Of course, I should put comments. I'm going to not take the time at the moment. Um, but let's go back over to Excel and give it a shot. So let me put some numbers here. Let's say 3, 1, and 4. And then right here I'm going to use it. So I'll put equals middle of this guy, comma, this guy, comma, this guy. And there you have it, 3. And if I change these, let, let's make this one, say, 5. Um, then, you see, we now we have 4 because 4 is now the middle. So it updates. It works just like an Excel function. Now, one more thing I might want to do is enhance the description. So let's go over here. Now, here I need to type the name because it's not built in. You don't see it in the screen uh, the way you would with a function that you wrote as part of the workbook because it's not part of the workbook. It's in a module. So let's um, go to options. And here we can give it a shortcut key if we want to. Uh, but let's just say finds the middle number of three. Okay, so that way if, if someone looks for information on it, it'll be there. Oh, let's just cancel this. Okay, so simple, right? But if you learn to do a little bit of Visual Basic, it lets you write your own macro. And that's it.